Have you heard of glycogen and have you heard of fiber? Well, I'm John Laspina, your carnivore teacher, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Glycogen and fiber. You know what? They're almost the same thing in a way. Let me explain. Glycogen is the storage form of glucose that animals, we're an animal, that our body makes when we eat carbohydrates and sugar, or if we have no carbohydrates and sugar, if we're just eating protein and our liver through gluconeogenesis is making glucose, because our body needs a little bit of glucose, our body uses the glucose to fuel our red blood cells and a few things that only work on glucose, and the rest of it goes into our muscles and into our liver as glycogen. Glycogen is the storage form of glucose. Now, what is the storage form of glucose in a plant? That's right, it's fiber. Plants have fibers because that's where they store their glucose. And when you're eating a plant, you're getting everything in the plant, all the anti-nutrients, the oxalates, the phytates, the lectins, all the bad stuff, you're getting some of the vitamins and some of the minerals. And if there's any protein and any fat, if there's any left, you're getting some of that, but you're also getting all that fiber. Fiber is the storage form of glucose for plants. And our body does not have the enzymes to break up a lot of fiber. So it's bulk to us and it passes through us and comes out in our poop. It scratches and scrapes along the way and it irritates a lot of people's colons and intestines. Some fiber or parts of the fiber can get broken down and it becomes glucose. When you think you're getting net carbs because there's a lot of fiber lowering the total carb content, you're still getting carbs. And some of that, yes, doesn't affect you, but a lot of it can affect you. It is sugar. So think about that the next time you use the argument of, I'm going to eat this processed keto food because it says it only has one gram of net carbs. And if you read the ingredients, you'll see it has all these chicory root fibers and all these other fibers and sugar alcohols. They do all that to do the little calculation and subtraction to take the total carbs and the fibers and sugars. And you get this thing that was invented by the keto companies. It's called a net carb. Oh, it only has one net carb. I'm going to buy that box with the paragraph of ingredients and eat it because it's okay because I'm on keto. No, you're still getting all the carbs. Some of them, yes, will wash out through you, but you're, you are absorbing more than you think you are. That's why we always say count total carbs. If you're going to do keto or keto vor and you're going to buy a product and it's got some ingredients and you've got total carbs and you've got fibers and sugar alcohols. And if you're going to do that, then count total carbs. Don't look at the net carbs because that's BS. Back to my premise, glycogen, storage form of sugar in my body, fiber, storage form of sugar for all plants. We don't need fiber. We do need glucose, but just the amount that our liver makes on demand. Isn't that cool? Gluco, glucose, neo, new, genesis. My liver is making new glucose on demand. So my red blood cells say they need a little bit of glucose. They don't work on ketones. Fine. The liver will make just what it needs, but no more because when you have too much glucose, what happens? It gets stored as glycogen. You get too much glycogen because you can get a capacity and have too much glycogen. Then guess what? Then it spills over into this other thing in the liver called de novo lipogenesis. Novo means new and lipo means fat genesis creation of your, your liver's now going to make fat and deposit it around the body in case of a time of famine. And that's how people become obese. So eating no carbs and sugar is the way to go because your liver will make just what it needs, no more, no less, about four grams. And you don't have to eat any and your body doesn't have to work to jump through hoops to process any of it. Your liver's doing 200 different jobs efficiently. You're not taxing your liver by eating all these carbs and sugars and maybe drinking alcohol or having a lot of medicine 
your liver is doing what it's supposed to do without being taxed. And it's not going to become a fatty liver because your liver's healthy. So glycogen, fiber, almost the same thing. Ladies and gentlemen, eat well so that you can look and feel well and become the optimized version of yourself. It's so simple. You don't even have to think about all the stuff I talk about in any of these videos. Just eat animal products. And you don't have to think about it. Have a great day.